with this album, there's been a lot more vocal work, a lot more chance to do the different dynamics that I want to achieve, a lot more chance to bring other parts in and push the boundaries. Because what happened with One Child's Game is generally I would I would just come in, Maya would write the music in rehearsal, we'd come in and I'd just sing over it what I thought was the best melody. With this album I've put a lot more thought into it. We've had the demo put forward to me and I've been able to come up with all different types of vocal dynamics. The clean parts come up with the high harmonies, come up with any chanting, work out what's what amount of screams sound better to what amount of clean vocals and I've been able to come up with catchier choruses for this one. There's a lot more catchy choruses. So that that's made the, the dynamics work much better this time. Welcome to the nightmare. There is no escape. A trap to follow endlessly. As hope begins to fade. Also had a lot of um, extra parts to the vocals that we've been able to experiment with. You need a change and, and variety in vocals, I believe. Uh, I mean, I have my screams and my clean vocals, I have the theatrical vocals and the catchy vocals, but it's still nice to be able to bring in other people or use the band, utilise them for the chanty parts, um, like in Mirror Figures and Dice of Fate, and we all get round a mic and we'll all chant and get that big sound as a full band. Also the variety in Clockwork Creation. I wanted the way I've written the, the bridge going into the chorus. I wanted a female voice.
Give me a hoo. Yeah, you That's could, it. Yeah, you could copy that. Alright. Oh, <coughs> <coughs> 